Hey guys, welcome back to Crossed Paths. It's me, Lucian, and today I'm going to be going more in-depth on the spiritual bovida that I have here right next to me. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do spirit guide and spiritual ancestor elevation. So if you want to know more, keep on watching. Here is what my spiritual bovida looks like. So I'm going to break it down for you. What is the purpose of a bovida? A bovida is meant to act as a focal point of connection and communication between our ancestors and our spirit guides. So we have generally a bovida consists of a white cloth, which represents purity. Obviously we have two white candles, all in white. And then on my bovada, I have the four spiritual elements. So I light a cigar to represent fire. I light incense to represent air. I have my crystals to represent earth. And obviously the glasses of water to represent water. Now the number of glasses on your table or bovada will vary. Some will have three, some will have seven, some will have nine, including a center one. Now the nine, seven to nine glasses around the main one will represent your spiritual court, which you usually find uh, out during a Misa, which is a spiritual investigation. We have the center glass, which represents a focal point um, of energy. And then we have the cross to represent the crossroads, the domain and gateway between the living realm and the spiritual realm. Um, and then of course you add some flowers for offerings. And then I have offerings of rum. And then I have my little spiritual book here. And then I have usually a book that I write in during my Bovida sessions. Now how the Bovida sessions work is generally one would sit in front of the Bovida. They would cleanse their body with some form of spiritual perfume to cleanse their body, the space, and then also to act as an offering to the ancestors or the spiritual court or spiritual guides. Uh, once you have cleansed your space, you light your candles and then you ring a bell, which I actually have over here on the side, um, to call forth the ancestors and spirit guides. Normally what you will wanna do during the session is you will want to talk to them as if they are your friend and just update them on your life. Ask them how, if there's anything that they wish to communicate you with on. Um, you talk to them about how your day is going, any spiritual concerns or concerns in general in life. The goal is to make a connection with your spiritual guides and ancestors. Generally after that, you will want to meditate, clear your mind for a little bit, and then I tend to do a combination. Oh, there's my cat. Come on, Thor. Come on. <laughs> Sorry for that. Generally, what you will want to do then is do a form of communication. I tend to use hydromancy. So during hydromancy, I will gaze into the glasses and see if any images or anything appears to me through the glasses of water. I will also have a Bible that I'll open up and I'll flip through the pages and call out to the ancestors or spirit guides, allowing me to use my finger as a guide for them to see if there's any messages they want to tell me. And I will let them guide my finger and land on whatever page and verse it lands on. Generally, it will be for a message that they have for me. Another thing I forgot to mention, guys, generally what you want to do, guys, when you're beginning out your bovada is you want to communicate with your ancestors at least once a week. And then after a few weeks or a month, then you want to communicate with them a little bit more. I want to mention, guys, is everyone's bovida is going to look different. Though the only things you do have to have on your bovida and set up this way are the glasses, um, the candles, and you always want to leave flowers as an offering. 
Other than that, everything else on the Bovida is completely up to you and what you feel your spirit guides or ancestors will want on your Bovida. One more important thing is you're going to want to change out your flowers quite often and before they start to wilt, you will want to change your water at least once a week, clean out the glasses with dishwasher detergent, and then with Florida water and dry them off with paper towel, refill the water and put back on your Bovida. <clears throat> You'll want to clean your cloth. Uh, it's time for me to clean mine because it's dirty. Because the number one important thing, guys, is cleanliness with your Bovida and keeping your Bovida as clean as possible. Now on to spiritual elevation. The first step, guys, is you're going to want to find a place in your household that is floor level that will be undisturbed by any humans or any animals. You're going to want to place a plate on the floor. And on that plate, you're going to want to place a glass of water and definitely will want to place a tea light. Optional items are you can probably add some rum as an offering or even some herbs. So for example, for me, I have placed wormwood to represent the spirit guides, coffee as an offering, rice as an offering, elderflower to represent the ancestors, and blessed thistles to bring about their blessings. Place them on the plate. And this is day one. You will set this up this way. And then I have nine prayers that I recite to my ancestors to start off. Now, this is what I do. Once I've set everything up on day one, so I will light my candle. Nope. And I will begin my prayers. I will usually call the ancestors down, let them know that they stand beside me, um, my spirit guides if they are present to be here with me. And then I will recite the Lord's Prayer, the Hail Mary, and then I'll recite nine prayers, including prayer for every day, prayer to distance negative spirits, prayer for recently departed, prayer for the suffering souls, prayer for the loved ones, prayer for the sick, prayer for the good spirits, prayer for the guardian angels and spiritual protectors, as well as prayer in time of danger. And you guys, reading these prayers takes about 20 minutes, so make sure you have that amount of time allotted in your day to spend time. After I've read my prayers, I will talk to my ancestral spirits and spirit guides letting them know how the day is, that I'm releasing them from their earthly chains, um, the reason for their elevation, uh, to elevate my spirit along with them, um, to help uh, protect the household, all that's inside. Um, I talk to them about blessing our family, uh, bringing about prosperity, whatever it is that you need from them and their purpose of elevation. Now you will be doing this for nine days straight, guys, and you can do it any time of the day as long as you do it for nine days. And you do exactly what I just did every single day. You keep the water glass, you do not refill it every day. Uh, the only thing that you do is change out the tea light to a new one, uh, recite your Hail Marys, uh, Our Father, the nine prayers total, talk to your spirits, but each time after the first day, you will add a book, or in my case, I add um, uh, Xbox 360 game underneath the plate. So the first day, the plate will stay on the floor. Second day, I will add a book or something underneath the plate to lift it up. Light the candle, say my prayers. And then the second day, I will add another book. And so on and so forth, so that you have nine books stacked up underneath the plate. Hence, each day you are elevating your spirits for nine days straight. And that, guys, is how I do my spiritual elevation. And that, guys, is how I work my bovida and set up for my spiritual elevation. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.